who went there to drive Al Qaeda out. Mm -hmm. Quite and, frankly, and since Al Qaeda is out, we have no reason to, to want to stay there. Exactly, we, we don't no have strategic any, reason for no being. strategic reason to stay there. Mm -hmm. You know, milit militarily, we can still keep an eye on Al Qaeda mm -hmm. from bases mm -hmm. within Afghanistan itself, just mm -hmm. like we've done in Iraq now. Mm -hmm. We draw, you know, to mm -hmm, bases mm -hmm. in case there's any problem, we're moving. Mm -hmm. You know, but arm the local people mm -hmm. themselves mm -hmm. to do the fighting themselves, you know, because what is happening now, regardless of how much we train the Afghan army, mm -hmm. regardless of how much equipment we give the Afghan army, they still, I yeah. do not think they are capable mm -hmm. of defeating the Taliban. Mm -hmm because the Taliban have, you know, ideological motivations to fight. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between an army that has the motivation to fight mm -hmm. and an army that just wants to get paid. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Afghan army at the moment don't have that ideological zeal mm -hmm. to be able to fight the Taliban. The Taliban, they are motivated mm -hmm. ideologically, mm -hmm. religiously, and otherwise, mm -hmm. you know, to, to fight. Mm -hmm. You see, and that's the big difference mm -hmm. between, you know, the army of, of Karzai, you know, and mm -hmm. the Taliban themselves. Mm -hmm. You see, you have the Taliban everywhere. Now, Mullah Omar, who is the spiritual leader of the Taliban, is still in Afghanistan. But we can find him because mm -hmm. nobody really knows what he looks like. Mm -hmm. You know, they know he has one <laughs> eye he lost during the war mm -hmm. against the Russians, but nobody mm -hmm. ever saw his Another picture. Mm -hmm. They don't even know what he looks like. Mm -hmm. So he might be walking around in Kabul and nobody knows, mm -hmm. you know. So he's still leading the, the, the insurrection mm -hmm. in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. And so now that a lot of members of Congress are questioning, particularly mm -hmm. members of the you know, Democratic Party mm -hmm. are questioning, hey, why are we sending 40,000 more mm -hmm. soldiers to mm -hmm. Afghanistan? It doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. You know, what we should be doing now is trying to, you know, lessen our presence there, mm -hmm. put more money into building roads, mm -hmm. schools, infrastructure. Inf infrastructure. Uh -huh, like they were planning on the good. Exactly. Okay. In inf infrastructure, uh -huh. you know, schools and all mm -hmm. those things mm -hmm. to create employment for people. Good. Because mm -hmm. what you have right now, 60 to 70 percent unemployment. Mm -hmm. So all those who are unemployed, what do you have? They join the Taliban, mm -hmm. where they can they know, have no alternative. They, they, don't, have any make, you know, exactly. they, don't, they don't have any alternative mm -hmm. but to join the Taliban and get some money, mm -hmm. you know, to, to feed their families and all this. They, they, they won't be walking mm -hmm. around and growing the opium. Mm -hmm. The Taliban also, you know, are part of that opium growing group because mm -hmm. that's how they get money mm -hmm. to buy their equipment. Mm -hmm. Now, Af Afghan, Afghan, uh, the gross D GDP now is about, they have a budget of 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 two point i mean they have an expenditure now of 2.7 billion dollars mm -hmm. but they have a you know an income the government's income is about 900 million dollars mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. which is they're already running you know mm -hmm. on a deficit, deficit. Mm -hmm. uh, a big deficit okay so but the opium trade is about three billion dollars mm -hmm. illegal mm -hmm. okay and it doesn't go into the government coffers mm -hmm. it goes doesn't into the Taliban, Taliban covers mm -hmm. and you know mm -hmm. because it's illegal the government doesn't control it mm -hmm. okay and so what does the government what does what does the United States government want Kazai to do they say well you know you got to control that opium grain and all this Kazai say well okay fine what are those farmers going to be growing mm -hmm. how can they make money mm -hmm. they got to have some mm -hmm. okay if you want to destroy the opium trade and poppy and all these crops that's fine but those farmers got to have an alternative crop, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. But the thing is that most of where those opium is grown is controlled by the Taliban. Mm -hmm. Kazai's, you know, authority doesn't extend beyond Kabul, mm -hmm. like most people know. Mm -hmm. He doesn't even control the northern part of the country, mm -hmm. which is under the control of General Dostum, mm -hmm. or the western part of the country in Herat, which is under, you know, Iranian influence, or the Tajik, you know, mm -hmm territories which is under you know mm -hmm. control of other factions mm -hmm. and that's the that's the big problem mm -hmm. you know now people say well why is uh, president obama trying to talk with the iranians and all this mm -hmm. yes he's trying to talk with the iranians because in a way iran has some influence in afghanistan mm -hmm. most of western you know iran mm -hmm. western afghanistan mm -hmm. you know has you know and, and, and that could at least give us an opportunity by negotiating with Iran, at least give us an opportunity to get out of there. Is that's that, correct. That's, Ex exactly. Okay. Give us some opportunity to mm. get out of there. Dr. Madhu, uh, we're, we're just about coming to the end of uh, mm. this show, as you uh, know. And uh, we just thank you for uh, just bringing that information, that relationship information by, mm. uh, to us today. And I think that a lot of folks will uh, see in what you're saying here uh, some of the uh, real problems that we are having. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, let me uh, also encourage our audience 
uh, to tune in again next week for another informative edition and to remind them that uh, most of these uh, topics can be seen uh, on uh, our uh, site on uh, YouTube. And again, uh, let me thank you for being with us tonight, uh, this morning, and uh, again, good morning.